Hey, hey, good people. Arthur Morris here. Hope all is well. In this video, we're going to look at solving a rational equation that simplifies to linear uh, with like binomial denominators. Uh, so we have 4 plus, we're solving this equation for y. We have 4 plus 7 over y minus 7 equals y over y minus 7. So I notice that I have a, a variables in my denominator. I have the expression y minus 7, and it's the same denominator. Uh, so my excluded value will be found by setting y minus 7 equal to 0. So add 7 to both sides. So my excluded value is positive 7. So again, my solution can be anything but positive 7. If it is positive 7, then my answer would be no solution because 7 minus 7 in my denominator would make it 0, which would make it undefined. All right, so the only denominator we have is y minus 7. That's the only factor we have. So I'm going to multiply both sides by y minus 7 to clear my fractions. All right, so we have y minus 7 times 4 using distributive property, the distributive property, and then 7 over y minus 7 times y minus 7. equals y over y minus 7 times y minus 7. All right, so let's go ahead and um, clear these fractions out. So here and here, I can cancel those. So that leaves me with plus 7, and then over here that leaves me with y. Okay, so let's use distributive property here and clear the parentheses, multiplying both of those by 4. And then we have like terms, negative 28 plus 7 needs to be combined over there. So that gives us negative 21. All right. Uh, and since the only thing I have on the right-hand side is the y variable, y term, I'm going to subtract 4y from each side to get my variable terms combined. So 1y minus 4y is negative 3y. Then I have to undo negative 3 times y by dividing both sides by negative 3. So that tells me that y is equal to positive 7, which happens to be my excluded value. Uh, that was the only number that y could not be equal to for it to be a valid solution. Uh, therefore, my answer would be no solution. And again, the reason for that is if I were to take that 7 replace y, either one of those y's in my original equation, I would have 7 minus 7, I would have 0 in my denominator, which would make that undefined. So my answer there would be no solution. Alrighty, good people. Hope you found this video to be helpful, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.